in Mekpa, in me now. Um, so I'm about to be uh, interviewed by the Beit Din. It's about 45 minutes to an hour long. We cover any variety of subjects. So I'm very nervous. And uh, afterwards, hopefully, I'll be going into the mikvah. It's like a reward. Like finally being done with the hardest process ever. So, if it goes well. <laughs> okay. Well, when I was seven years old, I saw a commercial on TV that said, Happy Passover from your friends at Channel 2. And I told my mother that I wanted to be Jewish. It was just an instinctive thing. As soon as I saw anything that connected with Jewishness, I instinctively, my instinctive response was, there's a group of people called Jews. I want to be one of them. Period. Judaism is the is the most punk rock of world religions. So many world religions are based upon the principle of you will never be the last prophet, you will never be the son of God, you will never be the one who discovered the path to nirvana. All these things, you will never be as good as this guy. But Judaism says you can be as righteous as Moses or as wicked as you want. It's all up to you. What are those? What are those? Hebrew letters. Yeah, Hebrew letters. About six months ago, when my son was two and a half years old, I started to have a very strong feeling of missing something and seeking something, and at the same time noticing that he sees the world in a different way. It really had such a profound impact on me that I started to do a lot of reading and very quickly reading about Judaism the pieces started to fall together where I just felt like I had found my way home. I have a very short answer to people who ask me why on earth would you want to convert you know to Orthodox Judaism and I say because God told me to. My whole journey began when I was 16, living in this village on the mountains of Sicily. June 23, 1983, I will never forget the date when I woke up and thinking I had to learn Hebrew. I was a good Catholic boy, started having my doubts at some point, but uh, I would have never thought that I would go this far. It felt like it was the perfect religion for me at that time, and today with after all these years, it still feel, feels it's the perfect religion for me. We have a tradition in Judaism that every convert, his or her soul was at Mount Sinai with us. You know, our brothers and sisters were just uh, time release capsules. They're coming back to Judaism now, but really they were with us from the very beginning. While some people might say, you know, gosh, it seems like it would be difficult to you know, try to fit in to this group of people, but it's such a strong feeling that, that you feel like, well, if they don't accept me right now, you know, they will eventually because they'll see, you know, that I'm one of them. For me, when I converted, I'm still the same person that I always was, just in different guidelines. I would still call my non-Jewish friends who I grew up with, and I'd still go to my non-Jewish relatives and stuff like that. My whole thing was just because I could, came out the mikvah, conversion, I, that didn't mean I stopped loving people. My parents are both very devout Catholics, and for them, the fact that I would become a Jew would mean I would give up Christ, and I would give up my only way to salvation. And salvation of my soul was my mother's main concern. Uh, granted, the way she expressed this concern was through crying and screaming. You know, there are always six or seven Sarahs in your class, and Rebecca's, and you know, there's Jewish, but there's this idea of kind of New York Jew, which is that, yeah, they somehow feel the need to name these names, name their children these names, and to keep that alive, but there's very little else that they keep other than these names. 
it kind of challenges a lot of born Jews who think of Judaism being Jewish as a culture, as an ethnicity. Well, here comes this Japanese family with their sushi and their tempura, and they've never, you know, spoken English before, and they're from. What does that say? What is Jewish culture now? What is Jewish identity now? I don't know why anybody wakes up and thinks that he or she wants to become a Jew. But for sure, we all bring new ideas, new perspective, uh, a, new, a new lens through which to look at Judaism. What was the question? It's Christian, what? Uh, the davening on Rosh Hashanah, special editions. Uh, I just want completely, like blank, like you've never blanked before. Like this kind of questioning, <laughs> it's just, you see black. So Friday night? Yes, Friday Terrific. night. Process. Everyone keeps saying, "Aren't you excited? Aren't you excited?" And it was an excitement. It's more, you know, terrifying, more. But uh, this is genuine excitement. Just feeling like you just started something new. You got an extra soul. Your soul is something a little bit different now. <laughs> it's real. It's really happening. You're not just reading a book. You're reading your book. It's your Torah. This was given to you, your people. So it's just a little different. So now I guess, uh, I guess it's time to find a husband. So let's go. <laughs> let's get going. 